Friends, enemies, and internet losers, I have returned. Hello, my name is Baroness Cameron, the Aging Rockstar, and welcome to the Aging Rockstar Reviews. Um, you'll have to excuse this sweater. It's a little bit chilly down here in the uh, the MeTube studios. Um, but, you know, if I was already wearing the Big Lebowski sunglasses, you knew the, the sweater couldn't be far behind. I think I'm probably one of the very few people on the planet who considers the Big Lebowski to be a fashion icon. So we've got a lot of stuff. Let's get started. Um, if you're going to crash a party, crash a good one. Now, technically speaking, I didn't actually crash this party. Uh, it was open to the public, and I got my invite on Facebook. But it was a CBC Radio 3 retirement party for a very accomplished gentleman by the name of Don Pennington. Uh, he's been working with the CBC for, I think, uh, 33 years, over 30 years at least. And he spent the last 10 of those working at CBC Radio 3. Now, um, the evening was hosted by Grant Lawrence on crutches. I kind of felt sorry for the poor guy. He uh, he messed up his knee, but he didn't do it with like some Eddie Vedder, you know, high altitude, low opening stage dive. He actually did it playing hockey. So not only is Grant a CBC staffer, um, well, on air personality, uh, a local and well international rock icon. He is also a goaltender. Now, as far as Canadians are concerned, I think that puts him on the short list for the Order of Canada. Maybe not. I have to double-check that. But uh, they should make him a senator at least. Now, the uh, first act up was actually one of CBC Radio 3's on-air people, by a guy by the name of Tariq. Um, now, he was, it was a nice set, sort of very Dylan-esque. And by Dylan-esque, I mean back before Dylan sucked. So, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a nice set, sort of the, the rasp, the, the growl, a bit, of a bit of a whisper, and a harmonica. So let's take a quick look at that. This is Tariq playing at the Biltmore for Don Pennington's retirement party. Roll it. After uh, Tariq was uh, a neat little band uh, called the Compadres, and they are actually nominated for a Juno, and I think those are coming up on Sunday, so good luck to them. And uh, they're actually produced by Don Pennington, and so they played a fun set, so let's take a look at that, and the Compadres... Roll it. Oh, you know what I said to you? You're looking at this pretty soul. You know what I heard of you? After the Compadres was um, an artist by the name of Chad Van Galen. Now, usually when I see somebody sort of setting up the, the one-man band apparatus, I get a little bit antsy and start thinking of the, the chimney sweep from Mary Poppins. But holy crap. Imagine Neil Young and Crazy Horse. I shit you not. Neil Young and Crazy Horse coming out of one man. It was intense and a true joy to watch. So uh, here's a little clip of Chad Van Galen and roll it. we slowly started seeing people in marching band uniforms filtering through the crowd. Have you ever seen that car commercial where the guy's driving along and he says, oh, this is a perfect moment, and then he ruins it by thinking about chicken or something like that? I had the perfect moment. 
last night. Well, it wasn't actually, well, at the show. Picture this. Saul from Tarsus is on the road to Damascus. Suddenly this bright light appears and knocks him off his donkey and he wakes up. Is it the face of God? No, it was the wet secrets from uh, Edmonton, I believe. Holy shit. Like, <laughs> just holy shit. Any band that starts their set with Thus Spake Zarathustra, which most people will recognize as the theme from 2001, is either very presumptuous or they're doing it absolutely right. They're doing it absolutely right. They, they sang songs about the most asinine but hilarious things like douchebags and bum roommates in growing your own mustache. Um, but... They sang it so deadpan that they looked like they were giving a Nobel acceptance speech, and it was absolutely priceless. And seriously, about halfway through their set, it just dawned on me that this truly was a moment. And I've I've had moments like that before, but in 35 years, I've had maybe four of them. Number four being the Wet Secrets. Now, the sound on this clip, unfortunately, sucks. So I'm just going to play the video clip. So you can see what they look like. And then I've, I've uh, lifted uh, a, a great track called The Secret March um, from their MySpace. Ladies and gentlemen, The Wet Secrets. Roll it. was the wet secrets um you know and the funny thing is that it just i mean it must be subconscious because i just look at my notes here it says uh, they just might be the best band of all time that's right there um as i was writing the previous sentence they quoted the big lebowski and my mind was made up and then it also says here mental note crash more cbc parties um yeah. Well, anyway, CBC was re. Uh, you may have seen that that truck at the beginning there. Uh, CBC was recording the show, so I'll let you know when you can find that. Um, also coming up um, this uh, well April fourth, uh, you have the transmitters at the Railway Club. You also have uh, the Parlor Steps. Excuse me, Parlor Steps at the Biltmore with the Butless Chaps. And they're also playing again, that's Parlor Steps, on the 19th at Lyme. As for the Wet Secrets, if you live in the Alberta area, which they do, uh, Calgary on April 12th, you can see them at the Hi-Fi Club, and Edmonton on April 18th, you can see them at the Artery. My God, go see this band play. So that is about it for me. Uh, don't forget the Pack AD, uh, April 11th at the Biltmore. They've just come back from turning on the states, and it promises to be a good show. So that is it for me. If you are playing, let me know. I will let them know. And if there's something on the web that I should be checking out, pass it along, and I will check it out. Until then, I remain Baroness Cameron, the aging rock star. 